Hey everybody, Anna Lovely with Lard here at Sober Mesa Farm Kitchen and today we are getting ready to make a really amazing dessert with an ingredient that you wouldn't expect and you will get people to eat an avocado without them even knowing it. Today we are going to be making an avocado pie. Now, one of the reasons that I chose to do avocado pie is with our um, speakeasy restaurant that we do here at Sober Mesa Farm. This last weekend, we actually had avocado pie, and so many people were blown away about how amazing it was. We had several people say, oh my gosh, I never eat avocado, and you just blew my socks off with this recipe, and I wanted to share it with everyone, and so that way you can make it in your home and impress anybody that eats it. So let's talk a little bit quick about the avocado. It's a stone fruit. Why is it a stone fruit, you ask? If you cut it open, in the middle is a pit, a stone, right in the middle, just like a peach. A peach has a stone right in the middle. Avocado is also known as the alligator pear. Hmm. I wonder why it's known as the alligator pear. Look at that. Does it look like alligator skin? Sure does, in the shape of a pear. It's also known as the butter fruit. If you cut this open, the meat of this fruit is so buttery and yummy. Not only is it texture like butter, it also kind of has a, a buttery taste to it if you've never had an avocado. Now I challenge you, if you've never had an avocado or if you just eat avocados occasionally, to eat it on a daily basis and there are so many reasons why one would want to eat it on a daily basis, but before we get started in grabbing our ingredients, let's just talk really quick about why we should be eating an avocado on a daily basis, but why we should be including avocados in our diet. Here are some reasons why. One, it's a rich source of antioxidants. It helps reduce inflammation. How many of us, as we get older, we have inflammation problems? Did you hear my little dog bark in the background? A bird just hit the window and he went crazy. Um, it's high in fiber. It helps our digestive system because it's so high in fiber. It boosts our immune system. It's a great source of healthy fats, high in omega-3 fatty acids and others. It helps prevent cancer and it's high in potassium. Did you know that this little avocado right here is 35% more potassium than a banana? They always tell us to eat a banana. Why not include an avocado and it's higher in potassium? I mean, that is so amazing. One little fruit has so many benefits to it and these aren't even all of them. These are just some of them that I chose to write down and share with you. So, we can incorporate this guy into a yummy dessert, trick people, maybe kids, into eating something that they normally wouldn't eat, okay? Or even husbands, wives out there, we could trick our family into eating an avocado and they would love it. I'm telling you, they're going to love this recipe. Before we get ready to get started grabbing our ingredients, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. I'm from the back here. Got my old oven going, and here are the ingredients that you are going to need to grab for this avocado pie. All right, y'all. So before we do anything else, the number one thing that we have to do, and one of the reasons that we've started our oven, is we need to make the crust for this pie. It's a really simple graham cracker crust, um, and it's not going to take us very long, but we do need to get it in the oven so it can bake, and then that way we can pull it out, let it cool for about 30 minutes before we put the filling inside of that. What you need to grab, though, is you need to make sure that you have a springform pan. This is a 10-inch springform pan. You can also use a nine inch springform pan if you have it. Um, it just is gonna be a little bit thicker of a pie. Um, and then if you don't have a springform pan, because not everybody has one of those on hand, you can use a pie dish, all right? And we are gonna go ahead and take our food processor, and in our food processor, we are going to be adding graham crackers. We're gonna blitz those up to make them look like sand. And to that, we're gonna be adding a fourth a cup of sugar and four tablespoons melted butter, and then patting it down into our pan, which you'll see here in just a second. If you do not have a food processor to 
blitz the um, graham crackers into sand. Then put the graham crackers in a Ziploc baggie, take a rolling pin and just kind of pound that down and get it as best you can, crumble it down as much as you possibly can. So let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, so we have one and a half sleeves of graham crackers and we're just gonna pulse it in our food processor and get it to be looking more like sand or a fine gravel, as you can see here. Just a nice sand. All right, here in our bowl is one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. We're gonna add a fourth of a cup of that one cup of sugar to the graham cracker crumbs. And then to that, we are going to be adding four tablespoons of melted butter. And we're just gonna go ahead and take our spoon and stir this around, getting it all incorporated really, really well. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this into our spring form pan and push it around, going up to the edges. We don't want it too thick, so we just wanna make sure that we push from the middle out and get that graham cracker crust up the edges. All right, y'all, now that you have the graham cracker mixture, crumb mixture pushed down into our spring form pan, we got it formed in there, we're gonna go ahead, throw it into our oven. Remember, we preheated it to 350 degrees, and we're gonna cook this for 10 minutes, okay? 350 degrees for 10 minutes. And once that 10 minutes up, you're really gonna be able to smell this graham cracker crust and it smells amazing. There's something really wonderful about that smell. All right, so let's go ahead, get this going, and we're gonna go ahead and come back here, put it in here, and we will be back after 10 minutes. Okay, so while the crust is in the oven going, we have a couple minutes that we're gonna go ahead and start with the first process of the filling. Super easy. We're gonna go ahead, we need the, our three avocados. We're gonna um, cut half our avocados, pit them, scoop the filling out, put it inside our processor, and we're gonna make it nice and creamy, and we're gonna go ahead and add to that the cream cheese, 12 ounces of cream cheese, which is a stick and a half, or a brick and a half of cream cheese. We're gonna zest two limes in that, squeeze the juice of one lime, and then the remaining sugar, um, which is three-fourths cup sugar that we'll put in with that. But the first, and then just a pinch of salt. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and I'll show you really quick with just this one. Um, we're going to pit this avocado I'm gonna cut it in half, just like this. And you see it comes, splits in half, and there's that pit, that stone right in the middle. You take your knife, and boop, really hard in it, and then just give it a twist, and it comes right out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that with the other two, and scoop the ingredients in here, and we'll put all of it together and into our food processor and blend it until it's creamy smooth. All right, so my timer is getting ready to go off. I've got my ingredients ready to go um, back here in my food processor behind me. Um, but we're gonna go ahead, get ready to pull this crust out. We're gonna let it cool for about 30 minutes. You just want it back to room temperature. You don't want it to be hot for when you put the filling in because the filling, um, we are going, and then we're gonna take it and put it all in the refrigerator. So we don't want the crust to be hot. We don't want the pan to be hot either. That's huge too. So let's go ahead. We're gonna come back here. Nice and golden brown. I don't know if you can see that, but it's ready. You can smell it too. It's Perfect. So we'll go ahead, put it over here on my cooling rack. We'll let it cool, like I said, for 30 minutes. And while that's cooling, we'll go ahead and finish the filling. Okay, in this food processor, we have three avocados. And we're gonna pulse them just a little bit to kind of get them mixed around. And then we're gonna go ahead and add to that the rest of our sugar, which is three-fourths cup of the sugar that was left of that one cup. And then we're going to add a pinch of salt, just a little bit. And then to that, we're gonna add a half a brick of cream cheese. 
and then a whole brick of cream cheese, which totals 12 ounces of cream cheese. And don't skimp, get the real deal. Now we're gonna zest two limes. The skin of two limes. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the juice of just one of those zested limes. Back on goes the lid. And let's puree it until it is nice and smooth. We want it to look like the consistency of pudding. But I stopped here just to scrape the edges down, get the goodies that are missing into the mixture back down into there, pulse it a little bit longer. And as you can see, this creamy, dreamy mixture. Now that we have our avocado, sugar, lime juice, and lime zest, and a pinch of salt, and that beautiful cream cheese into this silky, amazing lime green mixture, we have one last thing to do for this pie filling. We need one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out that one and a half cups. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it in our bowl here and we're gonna get our hand mixers and we will hand mix this super quick into a stiff peak. And then once we're done with that, we'll fold the mixture in together with the heavy whipped cream and our silky avocado mixture. whipping cream is whipped to stiff peaks. We're gonna add our avocado mixture. So you can see how creamy the avocado mixture is into the heavy whipping cream. Get all of it out that we possibly can, saving some for the kids to lick the bowl later. And then we're just gonna fold this all in. Don't wanna overbeat it, but just fold it together to get this nice, beautiful, light green mixture. All right, now that we have our avocado mixture folded in with our heavy whipping cream, we just have one last step. Our graham cracker crust has cooled and I can work with it. It's room temperature. All I need to do is put my mixture inside of here and put it in the refrigerator. And it does need to refrigerate for up to six hours for the minimum up to overnight. I prefer to do it overnight just because that way it has plenty of time to set up, get nice and firm. So we're gonna go ahead and do, go ahead and just dump this all in here. And I'm telling you, you guys, this is one of those desserts that you will be making over and over again. And when I served it this last weekend, I served it with fresh raspberries. The raspberry and lime is such an amazing combination. You could do any other fresh fruit. Blueberries, fresh blueberries on the top of this would be great. Um, strawberries would be great. But there's something about the raspberry and the lime mixture that is just, I don't need that cooling rag anymore. That's just an amazing, an amazing mixture. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push this out from the um, from the out, inside out, pushing it up to the edges, and just kind of smoothing it around. I take my spatula and I just kind of smooth that top around. And like I said, we wanna let this sit for at least six hours in the refrigerator. I like to do it up to overnight just because I feel like it sets up a lot better. Now say you want to make it in the morning, you have a dinner party, um, people coming over, maybe a celebration of some sort, and you have a it, that evening, do it in the morning and let it sit all day, put it in the refrigerator. Now the last step to this beautiful masterpiece is what we're going to do is we're going to get some of this cellophane back here saran wrap which is kind of like my enemy it makes me so angry sometimes and we're just going to gently set it over the top and then gently push down on it lift up and kind of push down because we want to cover the surface 
so that way no film gets on top of this from being in the refrigerator. And we're just gonna come around like this. Make sure that cellophane is down on top of all of that. Wrap it around. And there you have it. We have our avocado pie. It's amazing. My kids love it. My husband loves it. All of our guests this weekend loved it. There's something about the creamy texture of the cream cheese with the avocado, the lime. It, it's, it's not too much lime. It's not too much avocado. You can barely taste the avocado in the back of your mouth. And just a little bit of lime. It's the best combination ever. So, what's stopping you from eating one avocado a day? To get those amazing health benefits, having amazing desserts just like this, who would have thought an avocado could turn into such an amazing dessert? From Sober Mesa Farm Kitchen, from our kitchen to your kitchen, happy cooking and may God bless you always.